Hello everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Sorrel Island and happy holidays to everybody. Sorry I've been away for a little bit. I was just dealing with some personal stuff. Couldn't post that much during that time. But today what we're doing is a villager hunt. Yay! I mean, it's a little bit of a sad story because Drake decided to move out. You know, Teddy just got to be best friends with Dizzy. And I think Drake just felt unappreciated. So we're going to go on a villager hunt to get someone else to our island. Get a new friend. How lucky it is. Yay. I have um, 50 Nook Mile tickets right now. And of course, you know, our goal is always is Shep. But we will... Oh, look at Avery. He's so cute with his lollipop. Our goal is always is Shep. And we will see if we can have him. I'm hoping I can finally meet him, but of course we'll see. If not him, that may be Genji or PP, but I don't know. I really want to meet Shep, you guys. Oh my god, can you imagine? I decided to record this video. I got so prepped. I got my 15 Nook Mile tickets, and if I get him on my first ticket, that will never happen, right? Right? Have you ever found your dreamy on your first ticket? Tell me. Tell me in the comments if you did. I will be obsessed with that story. Okay, island number one. Let's see who we have here. Who is it? Oh my god, it's Ozzy. He's the cutest though. Oh, game. Why do you have to do this to me? He is so cute. Look at him. He's so darpy with his big nose. I love him. <laughs> He's adorable. Oh, let's get a bottle. Can't take him on my first ticket. He's so cute, but I can't. Ironwood table. Yeah, I love all the ironwood furniture. Obviously, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry, Ozzy. Let me just take another look at you. You're such a cutie. Oh, look at him. He has such a derpy eyes. He a little bit reminds me of my dog. I have a poodle mix dog. And she has such a derpy eyes too. <laughs> oh, he's the cutest. Oh, I'm sorry, Ozzy. Let's go. Let's go further. Let's see if we can find Shep. Please. Wilbur, take me to Shep. Okay, island number two. Oh, it's a money island. Yay. Is it Norma? Oh my god, girly, I get you all the time I hunt. I already have a cute cow on my island. I can't have another one. I'm sorry. <sighs> no chef for now. <laughs> I'm going to help for him every island. Of course, if 50 tickets comes and goes, then I will not get him. I will get somebody else who's cute. If I am completely heartbroken, I will just get an autofill. But no, I don't even want to think about it. We are just on ticket number two. So I will I will continue and I will hope for oh. and I will hope for ship. I will see you on the next island and I'm gonna get my bag right now. Okay, island number three, let's go. <gasps> it's the queen again. The queen herself, she know, the goddess. Hi, girl. Oh, she's so pretty. It's early in winter. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. I had you on my previous island. It's the second villager hunt in a row that I get her so quickly. Oh, she know. Why do you have to show up now? I've been looking for you on my previous island for so long, and now you're just showing up. That is completely unfair. Oh, okay. Let's get the bottle and move on. Who's this bottle from? Bonbon. Cute. Foxtail. Nice. Yay. Okay, let's go to the next island. I see you there. Okay, Wilbur. I hope another money island? Well, Wilbur, I know you want me to be rich, but you don't want me to be happy. Oh, 
Margie, hi, you're such a cutie. Oh, she's definitely a cutie, but you're not Shep. You're not a shaggy dog. That's who I want. Okay, well, I only have a wooden shovel. I didn't even prepare to a possibility that Wilbur will take me on another money island. So I will have to spend another hundred miles, if I even have them, to finish this money island before I move on. Okay, anyway, I guess I'll be rich but unhappy. Well, you know, not not the worst thing you could have. I'll see you on the next island. Okay, next time. Uh, let's check for the bottle. Let's just hope he can't get to me, you know? Let's not make any eye contact and pretend that nothing is happening, okay? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Who's this from? Robin? Thank you. Modern wood wall. Great. Goodbye. 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 Wilbur, what the actual freaking hell? I... Are you going, like, you're putting me in unsafe situation. Take me the hell away from this island. Goodbye. Okay, well, Bert, I hope you didn't do the same thing to me this time. Let's just proceed with caution. <gasps> Wolfgang! Hi, handsome. Oh, I love him. He was on, he lives on Gooseberry, my previous island. Hi! I love wolf villagers. They're so cute. If he wasn't on Gooseberry, I would definitely take him to my new island. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, well, Bur, you know, you did much better than before. But let's continue this trend, okay? And just let's think less of wolf, more a shabby dog. How about that? How about that? Okay, let's see who's here. Oh, um, what's her name? I'm not sure, sorry. Claudia, hi. She's so bright. That's like, so lovely. Oh, look at her eyes, she's so cute. You know, I'm making this island and I just started making it and I'm already thinking about other themes. And one of the themes I'm thinking is another tropical type of island, but to make it more like with a retro spin, more like Miami in the 80s. You, do you know what I'm saying? I've never been to Miami, so I don't know how accurate I am. But that is what I think when I imagine it. It's like this vaporwave vibe. And I think Claudia would be a great villager on that type of island. Do you know what I mean? Let me know. Also, if you know any islands like that, if you know any of the dream addresses, let me know because I would love to tour one of those. It's just I can see it in my mind how to do it. I can even kind of imagine all the items that I would use, but I've never seen one, um, never seen an island like that. Wilbur? Okay, let's get it together. Please. <gasps> Bam? Is that his name? I think it is. I had him on my island. He's such a cutie. I'm actually getting pretty lucky on these islands. A few exceptions, you know. Hi, Bam. He's a jock too, right? I think he would be t too much of a competition for Teddy, though. But how adorable is he? Oh, I almost feel like I can't say no. He's so cute. Look at him. Oh, I can't. Bam. Should I take him? Should I just take him? Should I just... One of the tickets did not record, by the way, and don't worry, it was a complete fiasco. It was one of the ugly hippos, so don't worry about it. Um, my computer just crashes sometimes and doesn't record, but there was nothing to see. 
But anyway, should I take him? Should I? Why does it have to be so difficult? Ugh, no. I think one jog is enough for now. And for now we have Teddy. If Teddy ever wants to move out, then maybe. But for now, I think I have enough of talk of the muscles around my island. I just can't. Okay, let's go to the next island. Okay, not losing any more recordings. Let's go find a cutie, okay? Oh, it's Carol Baskin. No, don't even try to look at me with your freaking tigers and your homicidal tendencies towards your partners. Goodbye, girl. I'm out of here. Let me just check for a box real quick. I hope none of your tigers will attack me, but nope, no bottle. I'm out of here. Bye. Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, never mind, Wilbur. You did good. You did good today. Cokie. Hi. Oh, oh my god, look how cute she is. Oh. Isn't she freaking adorable? Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness. She is also going on my freaking Miami retro island. You know what I mean? Should I just abandon a theme of Sorrel and make Sorrel Miami Island? <laughs> the name doesn't fit, but why do I just dream about that type of vaporwave island? Let's check for a bottle. Oh, let me just take the last look on Cookie. Girly, hi. Oh, look at me. No, no, she's too good for it. She's too good for me. Goodbye. You're beautiful. Bye. I'll see you on the next island. <laughs> okay, who's here? Look at this pretty waterfall. <gasps> oh, it's one of the sisters. Which one is she? They're so cute. <laughs> I don't remember Francine and somebody else. Chrissy. Oh, look at her. <laughs> it's so adorable. She's very pretty. But if I, if I hunt for her, if I take her, I have to get her sister. There's no way she can live on my island without her. No, I don't think I'm just ready for that type of commitment. Let's check for the bottle. No bottle. Okay, well, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, it's Deanna. I also had her on my previous island. I'm just getting all of my previous besties. All the time. She's such a cutie very cute but not gonna get her Ugh. wasps just get off my face i just want a furniture and a bottle and i'm out of here for my next adventure i'll see you there sister fruit island please don't disappoint me oh T-bone. Okay, he's kind of cute. I don't know. The references to meat also kind of freak me out in the game. <laughs> I understand it's like jokey and stuff like that. But it is with a lot of animals. Which is, you know what, fair enough. We should connect the food to... The animal that it is, it is a good message. So we don't forget that it is an animal, but you know, as someone who doesn't eat meat, it's just kind of freaky. Okay, goodbye.
La -ta -ra -ta -ra. Let's go. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What are you doing here with your five glow shadow for the second time? If you might be a good person, but you're kind of freaky. What is your name, coach? Look at the eyebrows. You know, Sims 4 has like these type of eyebrows too. I always, when you randomly generate a Sim, and it's just like this beautiful, beautiful like lady. And she has these like just super obnoxious, like higher up eyebrows to make her look kind of evil. They're also so strong. It can definitely work for a sim if you create them nicely. <laughs> but sometimes, you know how if you play sims, you know, sometimes the random generate is so good. <laughs> it's so bad that it's very good. I started playing sims again recently, just uh, yesterday I was playing. And what I decided to do, uh, I don't know, by the way, if you guys like Sims, I might try to record it as well because I love playing it. I have like 3000 something hours in Sims and it's not even counting. I don't even know. I had them on MacBook before, so I don't know if it even counted that that period of time. I don't think it did, but Maybe it did, actually, because it's still Origin, right? So I have like 3,500 hours in Sims. Let me know in the comments if you want. Maybe I'll record some funny videos from there, too. But currently what I did, I'm playing a game where I decided to make a household with six Sims. And at first I want to just randomly generate them. I want to put them all in, a, in the same household. And I wanted to tweak the... MCC command center to make a pregnancy random pregnancy percentage up and then I wanted to create a bunch of clubs for them and one would be just social club where they would do all the social interactions they would be forced to socialize and one would just be love club and one would just be like mischievous club and so I could just start gathering and they would start interacting that way just to force some sort of story progression interacting and uh, so first I randomly generated the Sims, right? But I kind of, I didn't feel it, you know? So what I did was I went in and I got the most iconic Sims that I thought are iconic for me from different expansions, different worlds, and put them all in one household. So currently I have Eliza Pancake. I have uh, Jeffrey Langrab. I have... Uh, oh my goodness, who have I, who have I, um, Marcus Flex, I have the, um, what is her name, Beth, something, the lady from, if you have expansion where she calls you all the time and asks you to donate one simoleon to her so she can start her startup, what is her name, you know her, Beth, uh, then I have Don Lothario, and the last one, so I have three ladies and three men. Who's my third lady? Oh, and I have Lily Fang. Because Lily Fang, I really like her. And she's also, I believe she's evil. So I wanted her <laughs> to cause some drama as well. And I built a huge house for them at first. Then I didn't like it. I tear it down. And then I download one from the gallery. That is very beautiful. Uh, but I'm also not sure. Maybe I will put more effort and build like an ultimate party house, like chaos drama party house for them. And I just want to run the simulation, not really control them, but just start random club gathering to make them interact. All of all, almost all of them have fought with each other already. Um, most of the men hang out in the gym all the time. I know very stereotypical Sims 4, thank you, but it's true. Um, the ladies just do whatever. Uh, oh, and what I also did is that I made all the Sims that were married, Liza Pancake, Jeffrey Langrab, and Lily Fang, I make them get a divorce right before they moved in. So they were also sad, and some of them were angry because they kept fighting with other Sims. It's, it's getting very interesting. <laughs> so uh, if you're interested, I will, I am definitely, I can definitely do something like that and post some videos about it to just make it more interesting to run this type of simulation to see who's gonna, I don't know, die or 
have the most fun or get a start a romance or have a baby like i don't know we'll see anyway let's go further okay next island let's go where isn't that one of those islands that usually has a bunch of tarantulas oh no that's a different one where is the village i know is his name benjamin i said it like it's such a magical name benjamin are you benjamin Benjamin! <laughs> You're not the dog I'm looking for, Benjamin! You're very cute, though. I like you. Let me shake all the trees, and then I'm gone, okay? I hope you don't mind that, Benjamin. I'm not freaking you out by shaking all of these trees. But I will see you on the next island, and hopefully I will get the dog that I want. Ha! Ah, wasps! Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Wilbur, surprise me, okay? Surprise me, I want to be shook. Oh. I am indeed. That's not what I meant. Rasher. I don't think I've ever met this character. He's kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Why he has so many scars? He's a bad boy. Okay. Not taking a piggy, but let's go look for a bottle. And move on. Ugh, guys. Wish me luck. I really want to find Shep. <laughs> just once. Just one. Let me, let me look at him. Let me just get him on my island. Oh my god, wasps. Anyway. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, Wilbur. Trusting you on this one. Let's go. Are you Wilbur? What the hell? Like, can we talk? Please. Okay. Are you serious? I'm gonna kick your extinct ass back to extinction. What are you even doing to me? Are you serious? If there is any gorilla I want, I want Hans, okay? He's the only gorilla I love with all of my heart. He used to be on my very first ever island in Animal Crossing. He was my, um, one of my first villagers. I don't even remember which one, but he is so adorable. I absolutely loved him. So he will be the only gorilla I will accept. And you're giving me this guy, this guy, the ass cheeks guy, the ass cheeks guy, the butt cheeks guy. That's what you're doing to me. Okay, Wilbur. I got you. You know what? It's Christmas season. I thought I'm going to prepare gifts for you and your brother, but you're doing me dirty. I know Christmas already passed. I'm in real life. Not in the game, though. Not in the game. I haven't played the toy day yet. <sighs> no Christmas presents for you. I'm going to go and figure out if I can get a lump of coal in Animal Crossing and that's what you're getting. That's what you and your brother are getting, okay? That's it. Take me back immediately. Okay, Wilbur, we talked about it. Let's do better, okay? Let's just chill out with ass cheeks. Oh. Oh my God, is it Gonzo? Is this Gonzo? Hi, Gonzo. I actually absolutely love Gonzo. But I already have... Oh, I almost want to invite him. He's so good. But I already have an old man, Savory, on my island. No, let's keep going. Oh. He's the best, though. I love, absolutely love Gonzo. Oh, I feel bad. This villager hunt, I have like the best villagers. I mean, previous company excluded, you know? But such gems on this villager hunt, though. Love it. <laughs> if only there was Shep, imagine. Imagine I get a dreamy. Couldn't be me, right? Cabin wall. Cool. 
Okay, let's go to the next one. Alright, Wilbur, you did good. You did good, actually. Gonzo is the bestest boy. I love him, but not the one I want today. Watch me just never find Shab and just getting something... Getting someone ridiculous. I already have Hippo. Please. Please. I don't... <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm scared now. I want somebody good. Or somebody new I've never met. Okay, definitely never met you. What is your name? Ezekiel? <laughs> Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> He's very colorful. Also, look at those eyebrows. Look at them. Can you show us? Oh. He's so surprised. Okay, well, let's move on. You know, I wouldn't mind a bird villager. I mean, I already have an eagle, but these types of bird design characters, some of them are cute. I like them. Achoo! Wasps! No! I sneezed! I'm sorry! I sneezed! Oh my god, that was just... <laughs> Sorry for the sneeze. <laughs> this was lucky. Okay, I'll see you on the next island. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I'm getting suspicious that... Is, that, is her name Hazel? I mean, she is awesome. I really like her. Look at her. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Love her. Oh my god. I already have a squirrel though. I have Silvana. I just found her. On my recent hunt. So I'm not gonna take another squirrel, but if I didn't have Silvana, I would take Hazel for sure. Ah! Wasps! Why can I never avoid them? Every time. Okay, I'll see you on the next island. What ticket are we ever on? Uh, oh, I have 25 left. Okay, so we're halfway through. Sister Fruit Island. Oh. Hello. Spike. Did not know his name. He's all covered in gold bracelets. He has gold horn and gold ears. Kind of looks badass, not gonna lie, but I cannot have another hippo rhino type of villager until I have a hippo on my island. It's quite enough, quite enough. Thank you so much. Okay, butt fruits, we're leaving here. We're going further. All right, let's see who's here. Who is here? Who is here? There's a lion. I don't know your name. Elvis. Hello. I don't know if you like any of the lion villagers. I have never really did. I don't think I like any one of them. I'm sorry if your favorite villager is a lion. None of my favorite villagers are lions. But you know, that's okay. That's why there's a literal crap ton of villagers, so we can all choose <laughs> some that we like, right? Handy water cooler. Great. And we have another fossil. If you see bells ringing on my background, that's my puppy playing with my cat's uh, little bell toy. My cat never does. He's a very serious, grumpy old man. But my puppy dog always, always does. And I think she only does it because she knows it will attract his attention. And she just is looking for his attention of her older brother. <laughs> All right. I'm already having a shout. Is it the same guy that we met earlier? Oh, I 
I'm not holding a net. I will definitely get wasps in my face right now. Okay, I'll talk to him. I don't want to be species towards villagers. I will talk to him just like I do to anybody else. Let's get a bottle. Pear wardrobe. Great. I just got pear bed and the last time I played. So that is a great, great set furniture accumulation. Let's go talk to him. What's your name? Yes, we already spoken. We, we spoke before. I commented about your name. Oh no, I don't have a net. Stop. Stop. I hate being stung by wasps. I hate it. That is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Give me something good for furniture. Soup kettle. Okay, fine. You know what? It's snowing on this island. And the only thing that can make up for a crappy villager that I don't want and for being stung by wasps is if I catch a long boy. Is it possible to catch a long boy in December? I don't even know. Also, there is only small fish around. What the hell? I still don't have a long boy in my museum. No, there's not even... Oh, I absolutely hate the silent. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'm just injured and this is not good. You know what? Let's craft a medicine. Is it three weeds that I need or five weeds? I don't remember. Let's see. It's three. Yeah, look at my freaking eye. No. Starting to get annoyed. Oh my god! <laughs> Take it! Okay, thank you. Well, just take me away. Okay, Wilbur, I need to get off this island for my mental health. Okay, goodbye. Okay, Bamboo Island. <gasps> oh my god, the queen herself. I feel unworthy in the presence. Anka. Hi. Oh my god, she's but she's perfect though. I don't, I feel so horrible because I get such great villagers on these hunts. I got Gonzo and I have Anka. <sighs> Can't take her. I did not plan for Anka on, on my island. But let me just look at her a little bit more. Hi. <gasps> She's so cool. She's so cool. Okay. Let's go. This is breaking my heart. Wilbur, you just want to make me sad? That's what it seems like. Take me to Shep, for God's sakes. Come on. Okay. Okay. What do we think? Not Shep. All right. What is it? Um. What's your name? That's literally me in real life, too. I never remember people's names. Leonardo. Okay. I want to say Leopold for some reason. But, no. Do you guys have bad memories? Bad memory for names or for faces? Because I feel like sometimes I have it for both. And it's very interesting. When I see people in the movies... Like, when I see actors, I definitely remember their faces because I look in their faces. But when I meet people in real life, I, uh, when it's a stranger, I struggle to maintain eye contact with strangers. I only do it with people that are very, very close to me. And that's why sometimes I don't remember people's faces as well. Do you think it's a long boy? Let's try. It's very awkward when persons like I introduce myself and they're like, no, 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 we met, we met before. 
This is the worst feeling ever. You feel like such an asshole. But that's a real. Of course, it's not a long boy. All right. I'm gonna cook you, okay? I'm against eating animals, but I'm going to cook you in this game. So freaking. How dare you not to be long boy? Okay, Wilbur. Just, you know what? That doesn't matter what I tell you. You're just gonna do what you're gonna do. I can respect that, but still, you know. Okay, Wilbur, let's see how you surprise me for... Oh, I can already see. Is it Zell? He's very cool. I had him on my previous island, but... Guys, I had a lot of islands, all right? <laughs> Before I started YouTube. But it was my very long time ago island. How many tickets I have? I have 19 more tickets. He is really cool, but because I have many more tickets, I will not take him. Where are the trees? Where? What can I shake in here? Not here. Uh, not this one. Oh, I should have gotten a net, but I was lucky. That was really cool design, though. I like him. I don't. Does anyone ever dislike any deer? You know, I'm saying deer, like this type of model of a villager. I feel like all of them are incredibly cute. Can you name me one that is like super annoying and people don't like? I don't. I have never heard anyone ever talk smack about those types of villagers. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, let's go. <gasps> no way. No way is it freckles? <sighs> I absolutely love her. I absolutely love her. Freckles is the best. Should I replace a duck for a duck? A duck for a duck? Should I keep going? I still have 18 tickets, guys. No, I think I should hold on. I, th I Even though Freckles is one of the bestest girlies in the whole game, in my opinion, I think I should keep going. And then you know what? I decided if I don't find Chab in 50 tickets, I will autofill. I will autofill. I will let the fate decide and let them out oh, oh god just see them freaking move in coach for me oh my god i know it i know this was gonna happen oh my god wasps i just know okay just release it i don't care need to put stuff in my storage do you think we'll ever be together with shep will he ever be oh a doggy on my island? I don't know. Cute chair. Well, at least that's a consolation. Swap it with another freaking wasp. Oh, there is a weed. Okay, let's go. 18 tickets to go. I'm still holding my fingers crossed for Shab. Alright, any luck? Oh well, it's a lucky island where I can make a lot of money. So that's already good at least. Who do we have here? Um... Bruce. I was thinking like Bam again. No, he has dots, not stripes. Bruce is awesome too. That's what I'm saying. Like there are no deer type villagers. You know what I mean when I say that, right? No, I'm not meaning literal deer. You know, the model that people don't like. They're all just the cutest. I don't know. Why am I looking for trees to shake? There are none. Okay, I'm going to play the money island get my stuff oh i can't because i'm stupid but i don't have enough okay i will release some stuff i will play it and then we'll see each other on the next island bye all right all right mm. girly you have beautiful eyes honestly cannot hate on women so bad of me to say i don't think i dislike any female villagers if i will meet one i will definitely let you know like i dislike this girl but i don't think i met one 
I just don't think I find any of them too awful. I mean, granted, I have hippo on my island, so it's not like... Stop hitting the ground. It's not like there's anything worse, but... You know what I mean? I did empty my pockets. I did not forget. Look at this. How beautiful. All the furniture is in the bottom row. It's the one I have to take to Reese and Cyrus. For some reason, I wanted to take it on my villager hunt. Because I just know I will forget. I will definitely forget. So I have to do it. Routines are very important for me. And organizing myself in that way as well. I do that in real life too with everything. Okay, let's see, let's see. You know what a cob villager would also be nice? I wouldn't mind. I would not mind. Now, of course, I get Norma. Or, of course. Why wouldn't I? When I already have a perfectly great cow. Okay, any, any bottles? Any bottles? Anywhere? No. No. Can you imagine running with a shovel? I don't know if you guys ever shoveled anything. When I was growing up, my grandparents, they had their own like plot of land when they would grow vegetables and stuff. And I was a kid, so of course they wouldn't give me hard labor. I, I just had to like pick berries and stuff like that to help that way. But sometimes I still would like shovel, I had to dig up some stuff. You can't run with a shovel. You just can't. It's so freaking heavy. And it's dangerous too because shovel should be sharp. So you can dig <laughs> dig in easily. So it's very, very dangerous. If you fall on top of the shovel, you will definitely cut your arm. So whatever you fall, <laughs> you fall on the shovel on. Like Animal Crossing should have a warning since kids are playing. Just like, do not repeat this in real life. Don't run with the shovels or axes on this. <laughs> yeah, don't run with tools. Okay, who's here? Oh my god, today is like a koala day. My third koala of villager hunt. Hi, Eugene. Obviously, you're very cool. But I'm not taking you. Let's get this fossil. We'll shake some trees. We'll move on. I feel like I'm going to be out of filling, guys. I'm so... I'm still hopeful, but you know. Even though it's the time of the year to be hopeful. I really don't feel... I don't know. Do you guys feel... Christmas, New Year's Eve mood? In my country, like in Ukraine where I grew up, uh, Christmas is not as big of a deal as New Year. And we used to celebrate Christmas all the time on the 7th of January um, because it is like an old calendar date that our church wanted to celebrate it on. But recently it had been changing. So now they already implemented 25th as well. And uh, now it's both of those days are national holidays, still. But I feel like it's going to move towards just celebrating, you know, 25th now. I think it's just like a soft transition at this point that's happening. But um, I think because mostly like how my parents explained it to me, because I would always look, uh, I would always watch uh, Christmas movies from America, like home alone and all of those and like die hard for me was always a christmas movie uh, and i would ask my parents like why don't we have such a big celebration for christmas and how my parents explained it to me that in soviet union like religion was technically not a thing because because uh, it's a communist country right and they did not want people to be religious and so my parents and my family, they just never became religious again. My grandparents grew up in communism. That's how they raised my parents. And, you know, it just never became a thing. 
So New Year is always the biggest celebration. We exchange gifts on New Year's, not on Christmas. And uh, but this year, I just don't have that mood. I just I'm going through some stuff in my personal life, but also because of the war in Ukraine and like my family being all scattered around the world as refugees and everything is just there is no I just don't feel it Christmas Christmassy you know if you do you're very lucky I think and I think you should cherish it it's nice oh I like this girly what's her name I don't remember Becky. Cute. So purple, it's nice. Not taking you, Becky, but you're cool. I got new Pokemon. Oh no, wasps. Um, I got new Pokemon game as my Christmas present. And I have never played Pokemon before in my life. Uh, for the same reason, I have never played any other Animal Crossing games. And it is because in Ukraine when I was growing up, a Nintendo games, uh, a Nintendo console uh, is just not really popular. It never was a thing when I was a kid. Really no consoles in Eastern Europe were a thing until a very recent time, you know? So, I really never grew up with this, and I was so jealous, like, I'm really, really jealous of people that grew up with Animal Crossing, that grew up with Pokemon, it just feels amazing, like, I'm just thinking about how it would be to play these games as a child, and I just cannot imagine anything more fun. Like the much as much as I enjoy Animal Crossing right now, I feel like I would enjoy it a thousand times more something like this when I was a kid. Just because of this, you know, kids wonder. Like for example, I enjoyed playing Sims 1 more than I have enjoyed to play any other games of Sims franchise. And I recently went back to the game uh, I somehow made it work on my computer. I played it for a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, it's freaking hard. It's hard. I don't know how me as a child, how I was able to enjoy it and play it for literal hours and days on end. <laughs> so I feel like if I had Nintendo, if I had Animal Crossing, if I, have, if I had Pokemon when I was growing up, I would just devote my whole life to that. When I was uh, little, my when my parents got me a computer, I'm an oldest child in the family, and uh, my parents got me a computer when I was 11 years old. So that would be 2001. That's when I turned 11. And we didn't have many games. My dad wanted to kind of regulate how much can I play video games, computer games. And so his rule was that I can play silly games for a half an hour a day, right? But he said that I can play strategy games as much as I want. Because he was like, they develop your brain and your strategic thinking, so you can play those games as much as you want. And the thing is, when he got me the Sims 1, which is the same year that he got me a computer. I believe Sims 1 came out in 2000, so I got it a year later. And uh, he played Sims 1 with me just to see what type of game it is. And he deemed it to be a strategy because it's a management strategy. You manage a household, you manage your Sims needs, you manage everything, you build it up. It's creative and it's a strategy. So I could play Sims for as long as I want. And I was like, I don't even need other games. What are you talking about? This is the best thing that ever happened to me. And I was just playing it all the time, all the time. And I was absolutely obsessed. All of the money that I ever gotten as like allowance money, I would save to buy a new. Oh my God. Are you freaking joking? Are you joking? 
Absolutely not. Immediately no. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk to you, man. Like, I'm sorry. You just look a little creepy. Oh, yeah. All of the allowance money I've ever gotten, I would just save up through the whole time so I can buy another Sims expansion. And this is how I've been spending my money since then. Literally since then. <laughs> because I have... I've been playing since all of this time. I had so many game, like so many expansion packs from all of the games that they've released and everything. Like with Sims 4, I have, I think, almost all of the packs as well. I don't even know why I buy them so much. Like, I don't even play that. I mean, no, I'm lying. I have three and a half thousand hours in Sims. I want to say I don't even play that much, but I do. I do play a lot. Uh, but I feel like I just want, I just want the expansions. I want to talk to people that are like, you spent literally thousands of dollars on this game at this point because expansions are so expensive. And to that I say, there's not many games that I have been playing for literally 20 years of my life. And this is that game. And it brings me joy. And if that's how I want to spend my hard-earned money, <laughs> this is how I'm going to spend them, you know? All right, Shep, I feel that it should be you right now, right? Right? Oh, it's Olivia. Hi, girly. I had her on my island before. It was actually on Gooseberry 1.0. 1, 1. It the gooseberry island that i created recently and that i uploaded the dream address and i have on my channel is the second gooseberry that i've ever had my first ever island was called gooseberry and i liked it it was nice but it was at the time when i just learned how to decorate and how to just play the game so after I played it for some time, I, of course, you know, comparison is a thief of joy. So I started to compare my islands to all of the creators online. And I'm like, my island's crap. Please never do this. And don't ever feel that way because your island is your island. It's going to be beautiful no matter what, because you can create something that is a reflection of your creativity. And it is good. It is don't compare yourself to creators because that's what I did and then I went on I had another like few other islands in between but they were really short I didn't play them too much I just got bored of them and I stopped but then I created Gooseberry 2.0 and I specifically created it for design purposes I knew I'm not going to play on it that much. I'm not going to explore drama between my villagers or really like get used to it because I knew I'm going to reset it as soon as I finished the design. And uh, I did enjoy the designing process, of course, because my favorite part of the game. However, in the end of it, I was like dreading to play because it was so difficult to play it was super cluttered and I just wanted to finish it I just felt like I'm going uh, to do work like I'm going to work instead of play because I was like I have to do it I have to do it now okay let's go who is it it's an anteater I already see the tail what is his name Snooty. Snooty. Now, if I'd invite an anteater, I would invite Antonio. He's the coolest one. I remember Snooty for Happy Home Paradise because he wanted like an indoor pool situation. And I designed a pretty cool one in my previous island game. Not taking him though. He kind of looks mean. I mean, granted, his name is Snooty. No wasps. <laughs> 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 
It's already dark outside. I have been recording forever. I did do breaks. I had the snack. Then I found a cool song, so I danced around a little bit in my kitchen. But still, it's already dark outside on the island. Do you think it can be a long boy? Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a fishing rod, so I don't care. Let's go. Okay, next one. Don't I have a few tickets? Oh, I have eight tickets left. Shep, if you're not going to show up, I will have to autofill. It's going to be tragic. Are you joking? You again? You're so cute. You're just going to force me to take you? Are you serious? You know what? If we get him the third time, we're getting him. If in eight, this eight tickets, we get Ozzy another time, I'm taking him. I'm not going to autofill. I'm going to take Ozzy. Because I think he deserves it at that point. <laughs> All right, Hulber. Unless it's another Ozzy, we will find someone new here. Where is the villager? They're just hiding from me. Oh, there you go. Groucho. Groucho is cute. I found him on my previous villager hunt as well. And I, as I said before, I already have Teddy. I don't want another big bear. I think Teddy is plenty. <laughs> Teddy is so cute. He's a jock villager, right? But I catch him all the time just dancing on the island with a donut in his hand. This is just so hilarious. Because <laughs> I feel that's the vibe that I need in, you know, in the gym mentality more. He talks about working out and then he's dancing with a donut. That's great. That's what I want. No toxic gym rhetoric, please. Daddy for president, you know. Let's go. Сколько там же билетов залошилось? Ну ну. Шесть квитков, ну ладно. Oh, the clay. He's a cutie. I have never met him on a villager hunt before. However, I designed a house for him in a happy home paradise in my previous save, and. <laughs> He wanted like a torture dungeon. Oh, at, at least that's how I interpreted it. Because he wanted a creepy, weird dungeon vibes or something like that. And I just created the... I think I did good. I did have fun with it. It was fun. <laughs> and he's also a really cute design. But honestly, I don't know if there are any hamsters that I really like. I don't believe so. I don't believe I like any hamsters. Let's go further. We only have six tickets left, so let's see. All right, let's see. Are you freaking joking, Norma? Are you serial? Stop it. Stop showing up. Stop it. I already have another cow not taking you. You can't convince me to. I said if we have Ozzy one more time, I'll take him. I'm not taking you. Oh, goodness. I don't know if you guys have that too, but I have Norma show up on all of my villager hunts, on all of my ever islands, ever. So I never had Shep show up once, but I had her literally on every villager hunt I've ever went to. Golden meter and pipes. Cute. I have a lot of golden recipes. I think I just got another golden one. Let's see. Let's see what I got. This one gold. This one gold. Okay. Oh, look at this dark lily wreath. 
Wrath. I feel like it's Wrath. Right? I don't know. I have no black lilies on my island yet, so. But definitely a classy one. I like to make it. Okay, I only have a few tickets left. Once I'm done. Oh. What? Who are you? So, like, Marcel, Marcel. What is your name? Marcel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I honestly did not know his name, but I guess, yeah, he is inspired by Marcel Marceau, a mime. That is very good. That is very good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so surprised. He's cute. Not gonna take you though. I want a different dog. Oh, as soon as I'm done, Playing of the villager hunt. I'm gonna go continue watching Supernatural because I'm still re-watching the show. If you see my previous videos, I've already talked about it. And I was watching it before I started playing too. Oh my god, it's so invested. I love the show. It's like you know how you have like your comfort shows. Like I have friends that I watched when I was growing up. Although re-watching friends now a little bit problematic sometimes you know also when i was a kid i really liked ross's character i really liked ross now that i watch it now that i have an adult woman i'm like oh my god oh my god he's oh my god never never would i be even friends with this guy like i don't understand how he got rachel but still but anyway, I was watching Supernatural episode of season six. That's where I currently am. And it was, uh, if you haven't watched the show, and if you were going to, then spoiler alert. Although it's not really, it's just a filler episodes, which are sometimes my favorite episodes. But it was the one where they get zapped into another reality and they're basically are zapped into our reality when they are not Sam and Dean, the hunters. They are actual actors, Jess and Eccles and Jared Padalecki. And it's freaking hilarious. I just love it, especially when they try to pretend like they're like when they're acting, but they don't know how to act. So funny. I don't know. <laughs> Sister Fruit Island, do you think it's going to be lucky for us? Are you freaking joking, Norma? Are you joking? What the hell? What the hell? Just freaking freeze to death. That's it. Bye. Not even talking to you. Oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot again. I have three tickets. Literally three tickets. And we had Norma four times in 50 tickets. That is incredible. Good. Just. Oh. I can't. Okay, calm down. Just deep breaths. Wilbur, you freaking loser. Just take me to Shep. No, okay, I feel bad. He's not a loser. He's a great man. I like him. But come on. Okay, two tickets left. Oh, is that Blanche? No, Cranston. Sorry for the confusion, Cranston. It's not bad. He's not... Oh, wasps. He's just oblivious, dude. He's like, I don't care. You deal with that crap. Okay. I really like uh, Julia out of the... I believe her name is Julia. Is that the peacock villager? With the same model? As an ostrich model. I like her. She's very cute. And also the whole lore of her being trans I think is great. <laughs> because of her coloring pattern. Because uh, she definitely identifies as a woman. But as, as you know, only male peacocks have that type of coloring. So she's definitely a trans icon in Animal Crossing. I wouldn't mind having her on my island. I think she would fit nicely with my villagers. All right, penultimate ticket. 
What's up, Patty? Is that her name? What is with all the cows today? I mean, not all the cows. It was literally just Norma a gazillion times and then one time Patty. Okay. No, I have Tipper. She is my girly. I'm not inviting you. I'm going to decorate Tipper's house soon, like around her house. I want to create a little farm patch around her, obviously. And everything, I already moved her house in the location that I find cute for it. Okay, last ticket, let's go. Let's go, Wilbur. Wilbur, you have one more chance. One last chance, that's what you have, that's it nothing else then i will autofill and then whoever moves to my island you it will be your fault it will be your personal fault and responsibility you will have to personally deal with them if there's some sort of a drama queen you will have to do it orville you're not without fault as well i know you seem so clueless but you know okay last island last one I'm nervous. Okay, I'm not nervous anymore. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. What's your name? Tank? Okay, you're actually, you're pretty cute. I, I had him as one of my starters before. But met at your tank. Goodbye. This was a disaster. This, this villager hunt? It's a disaster. What the hell is this? Ugh. <sighs> Let's go autofill and just face the consequences, okay? Let's do that. I time traveled. So let's see. It is sold. Drum roll, please. I am so scared. Eggbird? Hmm. He's a yellow chicken, right? He's kind of cute. Why does this island turn into turns into a farm core? We already have Tipper and now Eggbird. What is his personality even? I just put Eggbird in Google and it autofill Eggbird Ontario. Is there an Eggbird freaking Ontario? Stop it. Yellow chicken, lazy. Okay, so lazy replaced the lazy. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. I'm into that, actually. I'm not that mad. I mean, I am mad that I did not get Shep, which is, you know, it happens. I don't know. It's going to be an ultimate treat when I find... Oh, look, I told you they're friends. I told you they're friends. Look at that. Look at that. That's why, that's why freaking... Oh, oh, oh. Stop immediately okay let me just be snooping in the bushes again okay i knew it i knew it that's why drake drake moved out that's why drake moved out because him and teddy they were besties there was even kind of something more because they were supposed to go on a picnic but i never saw them on a picnic Oh, yeah, see, of course. And now they're all singing around, being besties. Sure, sure. Uh-huh. You drove Drake out of the island, Dizzy, okay? I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. Because now Egbert is coming, and you will have a lazy competition on the island. You know what I mean? And for now, since the houses are still on the beaches, he's going to be Teddy's neighbor. So we'll see who's going to sing around and dance around and prance around as his bestie. Anyway, Leaf again is just, whenever Leaf is here, there is always drama here. Leaf is just there, just watching. Let's see if I can ask what they were talking about. Teddy complimented my outfit. He said I look chic with my midriff showing. Oh my god, Teddy is into lazy boys. Huh. Haha, <laughs> I don't know what chic means, but I like it. I guess I don't know what midriff is either. Whoa. Teddy. Teddy, you've just been... You're 
Such a himbo, Teddy, you know? Yeah, just walk there. Now I completely understand why Drake moved out. I think him and Teddy had something going on. They're a little bit crush, maybe something, you know? And of course, now that he's into Dizzy, complimenting his freaking midriff. <sighs> I mean, I don't blame him. I don't blame, I don't blame Drake at all. I understand it. But you know what, Dizzy? You better look out, because Egbert is coming. And I heard he's very charming. So I'll show you around what I did with my island. I did a crap ton of development, by the way. I did not record any of it, because of course, why would I? Not like I have a YouTube channel to post it on, right? But it just inspiration struck. So I wanted to do stuff. And this is what I did. So I built this bridge. As you can see, this is where Tipper's house is going to be in a little farm. Um, I built these waterfalls. They're cute. I like them a lot. And so I built this giant cliff here, just behind of Nook's Cranny and behind Resident Services, as you can see. Goes there. I'll show you a bit what I did here. So you come up here. There's just this gonna be completely probably useless area, but I'll do some sort of a cute picnic thing. That's what my always to go filler area is. And now, see, remember when I was touring a dream islands that are inspiration for me? This is what I saw, like kind of like this, less waterfalls, but this kind of a square type of water reservoir. Is that what, how you say it? And I want to recreate it on my island here. So I did that for now, you know. This, you have to jump. You just can't do otherwise. Uh, please ignore the overgrown flowers. But I haven't done anything here yet. This is how you get from Tipper's house. I just wanted there to be like a long road. So you can look at Tipper's farm and it's just gonna be nice. I put this bridge here. This bridge is one of my favorite ones. It looks just so good. And here I put Silvana. She's going to be living here. And I put Avery, Avery's house over here, right next to the waterfalls. I think it's very promising, you know? I'm just trying to do more of a natural development for now, even though I did build up this all huge cliff. But I wanted to, you know, make it seem like I didn't. You know what I mean? Not make obvious terraforming. I'll show you what it looks like on the map yet, right now, as for now. Yeah. I think it it looks good. It looks good. I, I like it. I'm very excited for it. As you see, I'm not building, like, set neighborhoods for my villagers. I'm just going to put them here and there so they fit into whatever build I'm doing. This is what I'm planning so far from my island. I think it's going well. And we will see further. I think this is all I build up for now. You've seen the rest if you watch my previous videos. All of my beaches are filled with flowers, but I'm sure if you play a lot, you probably play that as well because they can spread and I will need to use them later. And that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching this video. This weird villager hunt that led to an autofill of Egbert. But I'm really excited that I'm getting him on my island. I've never had Egbert. I'm really happy I got a villager that I've never had. And I don't mind him that much. I think we're going to have some fun times together. I hope he is going to stir up drama between Dizzy and Teddy because this is things are heating up, you know. Um, Drake couldn't even handle it, had to move out. So we will definitely see what's going to happen. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you liked it, please like the video, follow me on my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.